What we are trying to do is develop a fully autonomous robotic system, the first of its kind fully electric platform that we have developed that does the excavation operation from beginning to the end autonomously with minimum supervision from an operator. You personally are involved with uh, a very interesting project in my opinion, that's how I found you out. That is about automating excavation. Um, and it was commissioned by some sector of the, US, uh, of the, UK, the UK government. Can you give us kind of an overview? What it is this project about and uh, you know why? What problem is trying to solve? Absolutely. So, so the project is called Robotic Roadworks and Excavation System, RRES. As you mentioned, it's a project funded by the UK government and we are de- doing the development in collaboration with uh, SGN, Southern Gas Network in the UK. The goal of the project is to automate the process of excavation, which is heavily manual, very costly, and very risky. The excavation to expose buried assets is time-consuming, costly, and there's a lot of risks associated with carrying out this operation in a kind of like an unknown environment. Lack of information about the locations of the buried assets is the main cause of the risks involved with this operation. It's basically excavation in an uncertain environment where you have all kinds of assets, high voltage cable buried under the ground, fiber optic, and the accurate location of most of these assets are unknown. And because of that, currently, heavy equipment like backhoes are not being used and instead human operators are manually doing the excavation. They're basically breaking the ground using jackhammers and shovels, cutting the road surface, uh, removing the the column of soil above the assets and uh, eventually going down until they expose the asset. It's heavily manual. What we are trying to do is develop a fully autonomous robotic system um, this is a, the first of its kind fully electric platform that we have developed that does the excavation operation from beginning to the end autonomously with minimum supervision from an operator. Basically, we want to remove the mountain elements uh, out of the human work in doing all this excavation. But that's not the only thing. There is also an issue with precision and uh, basically... Um, doing the excavation without damaging any uh, other equipment that is uh, buried in the ground. So just to give you like a perspective of how the operation is carried out, it's you can consider this as uh, almost like a non-invasive surgery of the roadway. Instead of doing massive excavation to expose a, let's say, a gas pipe that's buried four or five feet under the ground, we are doing a keyhole excavation through a 24 inch diameter keyhole. Um, we basically remove the road surface, remove the soil, expose the asset. The robot can conduct the operation through that tiny keyhole, um, install the fitting or whatever operation needs to be done on the asset. Once everything is done, the, the recycled soil can be reinstated and then the same core can be put back in place. So we're using different sensor technologies, different custom-made tools and platforms to conduct this operation end-to-end. I'll have a little bit of a more business question here, and and suppose this project works, okay? Who are the potential customers? Is it only the government or is the utilities? Like, who would be the hand customer for for this type of project? I think the eventual um, use case of this system is for any utility that's buried under the ground that requires inspection or repair or maintenance. Um, Electric companies, gas companies, water companies, sewer industry, they're all, they have assets and either the government themselves have to conduct these management, management of these assets or they hire subcontractors that would go and do the excavation, expose the assets, conduct the operation on them. All of these players in this market would benefit from a technology like this. Once the product is in the marketplace, what would be the the right model, in your opinion? Selling the product or selling the service? Basically, you are like the Uber of these robots or you're more like the general models of these robots? That is a very, very good question. And that's something that we are trying to um, figure out what would be the best model ourselves mainly because it's a cutting edge technology. Nothing like this has existed before. 
There is a level of autonomy that goes with the robot that makes it easy to use. But at the same time, there is a high level of support from a technical team in the background that needs to run these systems smoothly. So um, which model would be the best, I think, is yet to be defined. Uh, what we are planning to do is this project is going to end in uh, April 2021. And that's when we're taking the robot to the UK for operation in the UK for field trials. After that, we're going to be using this robot in different locations and then really identify what are its uh, capabilities, what areas is it most applicable, and what improvements we need to make to it. And also operation-wise, figuring out what is the right model to conduct these operations.